this is going to be a basic guide for installing reshade with super depth 3d onto the game skyrim with it fully modded the mod that we're going to install it to is lorem in this case so let's get started the first thing you need to do is go to uh, reshade.me click on download click on reshade 6.4.1 with full add-on support we're going to open that up click OK and we're going to close that and we're going to click on lower rim we already have it open so let's go to here click on tools settings and we need this folder but not with the skyrim.exe so we're just going to highlight this and copy that we can close that and we'll leave that open go back to reshade click on browse and in here we're going to paste that in and then we're going to click on skyrim se in this case click on open click on next click on microsoft dx 12 10 11 oh dx 10 11 12 uncheck that check this check that click next in this guy we're only calling the uh, we're only doing the basic installation when it comes to add-ons we'll do that in a other video guide so for now click on skip and finish all right we're gonna run the game now it takes a little while to start Oh, there we go. Let's. <laughs> that took a while. Let's click on continue and enter again. I guess for uh, it, it depends, right? If you're starting off new, you do new. Uh, you know what's going on. We'll click yes. Hearing music is a good sign. All right, we're in the game. It just takes a little while, I guess. So first thing we do is we're gonna hit uh, the home key you will see it opens up another menu. Ignore that for now. We're going to click on skip tutorial. Uh, we're going to enable the shader. We're going to raise this up a bit. You may want to read this a little bit, but it's if, if we have uh, a profile, you don't need to change much, but these are recommendations that you should do, like disable um, you know, the different effects, the post effects in the game. Um, other than that, it should be fine. I don't think there's too many issues in this game. Um, so first thing you want to do is set your your output that you want. Uh, in this case, uh, we'll leave it on side by side. A lot of people do do love to use top and bottom, but it's up to you. All right, that's fine. Uh, but we're gonna go actually to in this case in particular because that menu opens up when we press home. We want to click on settings. And you see where it says overlay keys just click this once and press the delete key once you're done with that uh, unselect that go back to home hit the delete key press the delete key again hit it one more time and then uh, press the home key twice and it should remove that menu 
So now you can open up uh, Reshade without having that menu. Alright, so um, let's go into the city really quick. This mod should work um, in first person and in, uh, or this profile should work in first person and third person. I know some people prefer to play one way or the other. Alright, so first thing we're going to do in here, we're going to hit delete and depending on what your preferences are you can in, uh, lower depth or raise it in my case i'm just gonna raise it to 70 percent it's up to you this is a personal preference you can in, you can increase smart conversions to bring things in a little bit to make it to give it more of a toyification effect it's up to you i know people that um that do do this in third person and the increase this a good amount it's dependent on your view you can leave that alone if you want so and like I said you can set the uh, the type of display outputs that you need for your screen there's a bunch of them in there and even if you use uh, anaglyph glasses all right um, also I've been noticing that um, people have been asking questions what happened to the virtual reality uh, shader we actually merged it into super depth 3d so to enable that you have to go to where it says virtual reality mode press one hit enter there you go uh, this adds more options in here for barrel distortions as you can see let's go back into first person mode and you know you can adjust it to however you like and increase the field of view a little bit it depends on what you what you want we have theater modes as well that work with this you don't have to do it with the barrel distortion you can turn it off and the theater modes also work without the um, without the virtual reality mode see there's still as long as you're in side by side you have command over this this is particularly works well for AR glasses um, we have other guides as well but this is uh, I'm just showing you the basics all right so that should be it um, of course if you want a little bit uh, higher quality 3d output you can uh, change the performance level here we're gonna do normal VRS it's just a small change uh, if you have higher end hardware going for normal it's fine as well it's up to you all right then I think that should be it I'm just going to um, I'm just going to enable the barrel distortion really quick and I'm going to walk around a little bit. Alright, and close the menu. So this is the output that you should get. You do not need this barrel distortion unless you have like cell phone VR or or if you're doing um, corrections for a certain type of lens. All right, it's up to you on how to Oh look, there's two cats this time. Isn't that cute? Can't pet them though. That's one thing I don't like about this mod. I can handle the uh, the loading times, but can't pet the cats. All right then. I guess that would be it. Good luck and goodbye.